Just as double dutch jump rope uses two ropes, the double dutch twist quilt combines two templates for its lively exercise and design. Use strip and twist and jumbo strip and twist templates to add easy and fun twists to your next quilting project. These are the two templates that we're going to be incorporating into the double dutch twist quilt. The strip and twist template, the smaller one, and then the jumbo strip and twist template is used for the larger piece. Both of these will be incorporated into the twist panels of the double dutch twist quilt. You'll start with two and a half inch wide crosswise cut strips and five inch wide crosswise cut strips to create the twist panels. Make sure that the strips are all very well starched. That will reduce the amount of stretching that can possibly happen once we start cutting blocks. We're going to start with the five inch wide strips that will be used to create the jumbo strip and twist blocks. So we've arranged pairs of five inch wide strips alternating with single five inch wide strips and then you'll want to label them. Now what we have done is we have split our outermost pair. So one half or one strip of that pair is on one side and the other strip is put at the end. Now the labeling is rather important. This will help with the construction of the strata that we'll be reviewing as well as keeping all the blocks in order. So we're going to use A, B, and C for uh, constructing the strata. So we need to label A for the first strip, B for the single strip, C for the next in the pair, and then A is also part of the pair. So you'll have A and C. Another single B, the B's are always a single strip, and the pair is split into a C and an A, another B, again the pair is a C and an A, a single B, and you'll end with a C strip. Now you'll have a few more strips when you're making the actual quilt, but this is a sampling to give you an idea for the uh, labeling of the strips to keep them in the proper order. Now here we've started to pull apart that whole arrangement that we did before and you'll see we're starting to form our strata layout. We have an A, B, and C and then here you can see this was where the pair had been. Then we go again A, B, and C. So now that we've matched up or made our line of strata we're actually ready to sew the strata together. Here we have the three strips for our first strata that we'll be working on. You're going to be stitching the strata with scant quarter inch seams. And this is a little sample to show you the difference between a scant quarter, which is right on this side, and a true quarter. It isn't very much, but it really makes a difference in sewing the strata and then ultimately cutting out the blocks. So once we have our three strata kind of lined up, then you're going to sew the A and the B together with scant quarter inch seam allowance. And then you'll add the C always to the opposite side of the B strip, but you'll want to offset the C strip by about four inches and stitch with again a, a scant quarter inch seam allowance. Press the seams open and we'll be ready to cut the jumbo strip and twist blocks. Now at the rotary cutting mat with your rotary cutter, you're ready to place the jumbo strip and twist template on your strata. And as you can see, I'm aligning or matching the A section of the template with the A portion of the strata. And the B of course is in center, and then the C of the template with the C of the strata. We're going to cut around the template and actually cut multiples. You should be able to get three out of three large jumbo strip and twist blocks out of each strata 
and then before you take everything away you'll want to stack your blocks and make sure that at least the top block is labeled. You can label each of the blocks if you wish, but having at least the top block labeled will be helpful once we start sewing multiples of the jumbo strip and twist block together. Here we have the stacked blocks that we had just cut and the labels. We also have the stacked blocks from the other strata that we've already sewn, cut, and they're labeled as well. As you can see, we started with the A, B, C. Our next following block to help create the twist panel of the double dutch twist quilt is an A. So you'll recognize the C and the A. They started out as that pair of five inch wide strips. Continue down. Our C at the end of this block will match the A of the next block so you always know what block comes next. We have A, B, C. This C matches the A of the next block and it will continue the rest of your stacked blocks. Here we have um, the labeled uh, blocks. They are stacked. This actually shows our panel almost finished. We've taken five of the jumbo strip and twist blocks sewn them short ends together and right sides are together with quarter inch seams. The seams are pressed in one direction and we're ready to begin the smaller strip and twist panels for the double dutch twist quilt. Here we have the two and a half inch wide strips that we've started to arrange for creating the strata for the narrower or smaller strip and twist panel for the double dutch twist quilt. As you can see, we have pairs laid out, alternated with single strips. And the first pair we're going to split. So you have one strip at the beginning of your strata arrangement and one strip at the end. You'll then begin to label. These will be labeled in the same manner as the five inch wide strips. An A, a B for the single strip. All the B's again are going to be single strips. And a C followed by an A and a B and C and the other part of that pair will be an A. And you'll continue, continue labeling for the rest of the strips and then you're ready to sew your strata. Here we have the strata sewn together. Again, remember to use the scant quarter inch seam allowance. And this time you do need to offset between the A, the A and the B strip. So offset the A strip of the strata by approximately one and three quarter inch. So once you have the seams stitched and pressed, you're ready to cut out for your strata or for your uh, strip and twist block. This is the smaller one you'll cut as many as you can from that strip and then you can label and here you can see the A, B, and C. You'll label all the stacks of the remaining blocks that you've cut and you're ready to assemble the twist panel. Here we have the stacks of the blocks. You'll need many more but this is a start and they're labeled so now we can see the order that they'll be assembled in. Here's our first small strip and twist panel. We've stitched with quarter inch seams, the blocks together, right sides together, and pressed seams away from the seam allowance in one direction. And now you're ready to follow the instructions to complete your double dutch twist quilt. Start exercising your quilting creativity by combining the strip and twist and jumbo strip and twist templates in one fun, easy project. The free downloadable pattern provides step-by-step -step instructions with full color illustrations for the featured quilt top. Jump right in, purchase both templates today and create your own double dutch twist quilt.